So I'm going to pass things to Taylor now, and he's going to take us through a noticing practice. So normally when we do this practice, we would do it in pairs. We'll uh, play with it as four of us rather than having two distinct conversations. So the thing that we are noticing generally is what's here right now for us. So it can be a feeling, it can be a thought, or it could be a sensation, emotion, or an objective observation about the person whom you have your attention on. So when I say objective, it would be something a camera would capture, it can see. So feeling, thought, uh, sensation, emotion, or objective observation. So we started off by using a sentence then, being with you I notice, and then you name the thing that you notice. And then the response would be hearing that I notice, or it could just be being with you I notice, because there'll be four of us and it'll get a bit peculiar. Um, now, what's important is when you're doing this practice, you do not have to have what you notice be a direct response to the thing the other person shared. So it could be being with you I notice, I feel curious about the way you're looking at me. And then Chris's response might be hearing that I notice, I wonder what we're having for lunch. And that is a perfect response in terms of just noticing what's here right now as we're in relationship with another person. So perhaps the way we'll go is I'll go to Chris and he'll just reflect back to me and then Chris will notice something about Guy, Guy will reflect it back and we'll just move in this direction. Does that work? Yep. Um, any questions? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's not a race. You don't have to race. You can take your time. And if you want a challenge, you can wonder what the thing is that you're noticing underneath the thing that you're noticing. But it's okay just to name the thing at the top. 